everyone, welcome back. My name is Jennifer and today I have a June favorites video for you. It's maybe a little bit late, but it's okay because happy July, yes. But today I'm gonna be talking to you mostly about things that I loved and I used all during June. They are things that are near and dear to my heart, so stay tuned. First things first, this is not a June favorite, but I just want to put it out there because apparently there's always some big controversy about my lip color. Lipstick is 111 Kiss of Life, and this is from the Rimmel Kate Moss collection. The lip pencil from MAC in Brick. So these two layered on top of each other gives you this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, don't kiss. Just talk like this. Oh, God. Fill on the lip. I want to get down to what I have been craving obsessively. I noticed that I had a box of unopened tea the other night and I was like, I thought that I had a herbal like sweet dream type tea, like a chamomile, and I totally did. It is the Bigelow Sweet Dreams Herb Tea. It's a relaxing blend of chamomile and mint. Yes. I think I got this for like a buck 99 at Christmas tree shops. It was a it was a box of like 30 of them, so always a good time for uh, shopping bargains. If you don't have a Christmas tree shops near you, you need to move to where there is one. My next favorite thing that I've been um, taking shots of for uh, a while, but I use the Isotonics, the um, OPC3 Beauty Blend. This has just like everything in it. Um, I'll read you the bottle. Supports healthy complexion, keeps skin looking young and firm, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and provides an antioxidant defense for the skin. This is something you just take along with, you know, a little sip of water in the morning. It's blended all together. Um, again, it's the Isotonics Beauty Blend. I do believe this is a Market America only product, but it is so good and it tastes good too. And it's pink, so you feel like you're even more pretty because it's pink. Next up for all you theater fans out there. There he is. I see you out there. Um, this is actually something that I have become very obsessed with and I wear every day of my life and especially now because it's hotter outside. To set my foundation, people always ask me what kind of powder I use and yes, for the most part, I do use the um, NC15 Studio Fix powder from MAC, um, but during the summer, if you sweat at all, it just comes right off, so ain't nobody got time for that. But I have been actually using the Mayron Setting Powder. This actually, this actually has um, antiperspirant in it. It's just a translucent setting powder, but since the antiperspirant is in there, if you are like, um, I'm a little bit of a forehead sweater, like up on the top here near my hairline. So if you are a face sweater at all and you love to wear makeup and you won't leave home without it, this is something you need to invest in. Um, the price is on here. This is $8.99 and this thing has literally lasted me. I think I got this around Christmas and you can see how much is gone. You literally use like next to nothing. Also for shows and stuff, the reason that it has the antiperspirant in it is because when you're on stage and you're sweating and it's nasty and it's a really horrible time, this is something that you're gonna want so definitely uh, the Mayron setting powder is something that you want to go invest in find something like this you can either go online or you can go to your local uh, Doherty's Masquerade any kind of Halloween store uh, special effects makeup store should have this um, here in Syracuse we also have SSS SSSL Yes, SSSL, which is Syracuse Scenery Stage and Lighting, and they also sell the Mayron products as well. Now, for anybody who knows, knows that I love to wear my glasses, but during the summer and stuff, when it sits on the edge of the nose, it tends to press on the makeup. So I do wear my contacts more frequently in the summertime, um, especially when I'm wearing makeup looks and stuff like that. I will tend to not wear my glasses. If I'm wearing my glasses, it means we're having a really lazy day. As far as contact solution, I have actually found something brand new, and I kind of have introduced a couple more people to it. Um, um, it is actually the Clear Care 3% uh, Hydrogen Peroxide Cleaning and Disin Disinfecting Solution. This stuff is amazing. This is the little um, capsule it comes with. Um, it has the right and it has the left. You pop up the little pod on the side there, pop out the contact and you put it in there flip it over, do the same thing on the other side, and then you kind of squirt the solution over the contact for, for like a minute, I think it says, fill it up to the line, and when you put it in, it actually fizzes. This, I do believe, sold in Target. Um, it was a two-pack, so I have another one sitting down here out of my vanity, but it was a two-pack, and it was only like $8, so normally, even if you get like a, a $2 one, it, they're teeny tiny, you're getting your money's worth. This is great, except the only thing is you have to at least leave them in there. I think it says, uh, blah, blah, blah six hours. So definitely go purchase this. It's really fun. And it's my best friend. So as many of you may know, I did bleach my hair blonde. Let me see if I can find a picture here. Here's my blondie. Here's my blonde hair. Here's my blonde hair, kids. Look at how white my hair is in this picture. Do you see it? That's not even a filter, people. That 
that is not a filter. But I did it for a show and my hair has been so damaged that somebody actually recommended this to me that it's a 10 uh, Miracle Leave-In product. And this, every time I wash my hair, which everybody's gonna be like, ew, you're so gross, Jenny. I wash my hair about once a week or like every like week and a half. Um, if it's hot out and it's humid and I go to the gym or I go out and do something and it gets gross, obviously I'm gonna wash it. For the most part, my hair doesn't get greasy, oily, anything like that. And if it does, I just throw in a simple uh, dry shampoo. I personally enjoy my hair when it's a little bit more dirty um, as it styles better, it holds a curl better, and um, it doesn't look like this. <laughs> This is amazing stuff, and I do believe it is a little bit pricey. I think it's like $16, $17 for even this tiny little bottle, but it lasts for like a couple months, so I think you definitely get your, um, your money's worth out of it. Something I cannot stress enough is hair care. If you are going to buy, you know, white rain or suave or something like that, your hair is going to feel a lot more brittle than something you can get from a actual like hair salon. But there are also other places, even Supercuts has like better shampoos than something you can get for $2.99. Yeah, it might be $12, but A, you're going to use less of it, and B, it's going to make your hair feel so much better. So I cannot strive it enough that hair care is very important. Important. Rant over! Hashtag! But yes, go purchase this. It's available at Rite Aid, Target, Walmart, all these fun places. It's a good one. And it's 10. And shout out to my local uh, Bobby Brown counter in Lord & Taylor in Destiny, USA. Girl, you are amazing. I can't remember your name. Sam, Samantha, Kate, Katie, either or. I am so horrible and I know and I'm so sorry, but you're amazing. It's the Bobbi Brown uh, Full Coverage Face Brush. And it's great because it is so dense that it packs on the product, which is almost like a, a, a beauty blender, like one of those little uh, blender sponges. And this one you can actually just kind of even blot along if you are a little bit um, oily or anything like that, just even no product on it and just blotting along. It picks it up and it dissipates some of the makeup so it looks a lot um, like an even coverage. I do believe it was like 35 maybe 40 I honestly can't remember. It's definitely something that you should go purchase. I highly recommend it. As far as fragrance, something that I owe my life to, my dear friend Jen who works at Sephora. Go visit her. Shout out Jen! This is the Chance Bachanel. It actually um, reminds me of the Marc Jacobs date. Daisy, not the also fresh, but the original Daisy with a hint of a little bit more of a sweet note in it. I think that this is one you should definitely go sample. It's definitely a florally uh, summer scent that is something I feel like would wear and last, especially if you're going to be outside, outdoorsy. This is something that the bees are going to be all up on you because they're going to be like, oh, we smell so good. One thing that I just got recently, like in the last like two days, that I'm kind of in love with, and I did my first picture on it this morning and posted it on my Instagram, is the iPhone 5S. And this has this cute little uh, Hello Kitty cover on it. It's the screen protector. And this is my cute little case. Oh, she's such a cutie. Camera on this is amazing. The display is amazing. Oh, hello. Ashley R. Stanyard is now following me on Instagram. On my new phone, my new plan. I'm so excited. Verizon Wireless. Go see Michael because he was really good to me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Make sure you hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Jennifer Pearson. You'll get a shout out on my next video, y'all. Stay beautiful. Bye. Hopefully you won't look at me when I'm doing that. Okay, this is awkward.